All right, so uh, welcome back, Inebriites. This is Andy, the Inebriite Podcast. Uh, we are here, as always, at the Craft Beer Cellar on Main Street in Plymouth. So for all your drinking needs, you can come down, pick up some beer, wine, cider from all over the world. And uh, we are here with June Summers, mm-hmm. um, who is a food truck owner. And um, so the name of your food truck is... Um, Mom on the Go. Mom on the Go. And we first... Um, <clears throat> discovered you at the hop fest this past summer yes uh, right here in plymouth uh which we recorded at and our friend zelda was helping you out yes yes she's awesome yeah she's a sweetheart <clears throat> um so how long have you been in the food truck business a year and a half oh wow so kind it, of a it's a, fairly a new, new thing yes um what what brought you in, into it uh i love food mm-hmm. i love to eat as we do as well <clears throat> right so my previous uh, life was in insurance, which was not nearly as fun yeah. uh, for 20-some-odd years. And uh, so then I decided to make a change, and I wanted to do the food truck, and I researched that for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. And uh, there it is, mom on the go, and I decided to go with grilled cheese. Why grilled cheese? Because uh, you could be creative yeah. with grilled cheese. So everyone loves it. Um, mm-hmm. I am sort of the ultimate mom. I have three sons, and I love to feed people. Yeah. Um, but I also love to cook and be creative. So you can kind of do almost anything with a grilled cheese. I feel like grilled cheese is that kind of comfort food. Oh, where, absolutely. Where every, everybody loves grilled yes. cheese. Yes, yes. But you, it still kind of leaves it open to be a little creative. Yeah, we can, we, so we have the classic, which is, of course, the standard. But we do all sorts of different you know, funky variations as I well. I believe I had the loaded baked potato. Yeah, that's a fave. Yeah, that was that <laughs> yeah. was pretty great. Um, I may have been a little tipsy when I had it, so it was definitely <laughs> needed. Um, mm-hmm. So, you, a year and a half ago, you decided you're gonna I'm gonna do this. Start a food truck. Yes, it's been an odyssey. Was it? <laughs> Sign- I was going to say, is it harder than you thought? Way it's harder. It's always harder. Way like, harder. Significantly Yeah, harder? so, I mean, I was a vice president of sales and marketing, so I really thought I knew business, which I did in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uh, this was the most physical job I've ever had. I had yeah. no idea how exhausting it would be, mm-hmm. you know, on your feet for 12 hours and, you know, loading the truck and the actual cooking and right. all of that. And it- the prep work. Oh, yeah. I mean, you show up yeah. for, you know, a, a three-hour event. I mean, it takes you two days to get ready for that. Right, yeah. right. So, but it's it's been a blast. It's been the most fun I've ever had. Yeah, and that's one of, I find the people that I connect with who are, who are kind of independent yeah. business people absolutely love what they're doing. Yes. Because if they didn't, they wouldn't do it because it's way more yes. work than a regular yes, job. Yes, exactly. Um, so <clears throat> you you have your truck. Yep. What was the first event? Where, like, where did you go first? Well, I was, I was scared, right? So, because I didn't know what I was doing. So, my husband um, owns a, a, he's an IT guy, so mm-hmm. he, he fixes computers. So he has a, a store location. So I didn't want to do social media or any of that. Yeah. So I literally just parked it there very quietly one day. Kind of <laughs> yeah. just, yeah, just and see who would stop pe- by kind of thing. And then people just started stopping without yeah. any uh, prompting whatsoever. And I'm like, I think this is actually going to work. Um, so that's what I did. I did that for about the first week. Yeah. And I'm like, well. That's a good way to kind of just yeah. kind of get your feet wet. <clears throat> and really see- extra soft opening. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I did that for, you know, about a week. And then I said, all right, I think I'm ready. And um, bang, as soon as I put it on social media, I was slammed. With people <laughs> requests. requesting you to go to different places? Yes, come to our festival, come to our business, come to our, you know. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, I started in October. Uh, I was sort of slammed up until December, but typically food trucks shut down. A lot of them shut down in November Yeah. Uh, until April. But mm-hmm. I went through uh, December, and I got up r- and running again in March. And I think by February, I was already booking into the fall, you know, into the summer. That's great. Yeah, it, like, it just, that's, it's amazing. so great. Like, um, I had no idea that it would be yeah. that big of a thing. Um, so the, I'm seeing more and more food truck festivals. Yes. And I think you just signed on to one that I saw, Hanover Mall? Yep. Do so um, over the summer, I started saying, you know, geez, I'm booking things like after wedding events and private parties mm-hmm. and graduations. And I went, wow, you know, I'm the only one that drives the truck. And it felt very, um, 
you know, uh, you're kind of an island. Yeah. And I was like, I would never want to disappoint someone, you know, for a special event in their life. So I said, I really need a network of people, other trucks. Oh, so it's so kind I, of network. So yeah. You can kind of, so yeah. I kind of reached out to the National Food Truck Organization. I said, I think I want to start an association. Um, so they kind of gave me some guidance. So in September, I started the Social Food Truck Association. Uh, so now we have 30. That's how you know she's an overachiever. She's like, you know what? The food truck isn't enough work. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it, you know, it was started basically from my own need going, yeah. you know, if I break down, I mean, these trucks are old. <laughs> we don't, oh, sure. Yeah. Most of our trucks are not the uh, trucks you see on the food tr- great food truck race yeah, yeah, that yeah. are $150,000 yeah. brand spake and new. You know, they're converted. Mm-hmm. Mine's a converted 1986 um, FedEx truck. Oh, no kidding. So the kitchen is new, but it's a 1986 truck. truck. Right, yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, and, and we break down from time to time or things happen. So. Uh, see, like, I, like that never, never even occurred to me as a problem. You know, oh. you have a gig and... You're straight on yeah, the side not of only highway. do you have to worry about your kitchen up and running, you have to worry about the vehicle yeah. running. Oh, so, yeah, that's one of those you just wouldn't even think of it. Yeah. yeah, so you know, we I started kind of networking, and the next thing you know, you know, we had people going, "Yeah, let's do this." I mean, there was one in Boston, an association. So did you organize the Hanover Mall? Event? I did. Oh, yeah. okay. So that's every Tuesday. <clears throat> yeah. Think. So yeah. our association, like I said, we have 32 trucks in it now, oh, nice. and it's you know just beginning. Really, right. we just got you know our first really official meeting was october and we meet once a month and um you know the the food truckers are you know loving it and expressing their opinion we want maybe a little bit more control over events or mm-hmm. you know um you know every every business has their list of grievances oh sure yeah, yeah. um <clears throat> you know we're kind of at the mercy of uh promoters not mm-hmm. necessarily in a bad way but sometimes in a bad way it all depends on the promoter. It really. does. Yep. Um, so they said, why don't we start, you know, kind of banding together and doing some of our own things. So that's where the uh, Food Truck Tuesday was born. You know, certainly it's not a new idea. They do this all over the country. Oh, I've seen a bunch of them. Yeah. yeah. And um, we, we don't do it here. Yeah. It's new to us. We had a <clears throat> musician on a couple months ago, Jeff Rosen, mm-hmm. and he was talking about uh, getting invited to play some food truck thing mm-hmm. and he's like it he's like it was the closest thing to actually playing a rock concert that i've <laughs> ever been to yep he's like there was tons of people and tons of trucks and yes he's like there's a stage and all right. sorts of stuff <clears throat> yeah so there's you know for the so sure it's relatively mm-hmm. new um and to be sort of organized um the other new thing on the social as you know are the is the craft beer scene yep oh craft beer is huge so the there. craft beer and the food trucks i mean we're we're in a great partnership yeah. so um they love that they can come to the association and and kind of you know get trucks for their um breweries mm-hmm. which which they love because they want people to stay there and drink <clears throat> yeah but they want without some food yes. you don't really want to hang out and drink a lot exactly i learned that at the hop fest <laughs> <laughs> yes yes so uh yeah but like plymouth for example yeah. uh you know has uh restrictions on yeah. the um you know downtown area for food trucks so the only place you can be is memorial hall mm-hmm. for an event yep um, so I'm actually working. I just had a meeting last week with a few business owners down here uh, to try to maybe uh, change those those old 80s regulations Yeah, um, to loosen it up a little bit. Because food trucks are so trendy right now yes. that it it's – we were just down in D.C. Uh, – it's back in November, I think. Mm-hmm. And um, – I understand kind of what they're trying to avoid because up and down those streets, it's food truck, food truck, t-shirt yep. truck, food yep. truck, food truck, t-shirt truck, all the way up and down the streets. Yep. You don't really want that. No, you don't. But I think it, there can be a, a happy mix. I mean, I think Boston does a pretty good job. Mm-hmm. They they streamlined their regulations like, you know, 10 years ago. And there's food trucks available, but it's not so saturated right. that they're everywhere. If you had a couple of key locations that you had to, like, put in for and rotate them through right. or something like that, it would be great. Yeah, which is what they do. Nice. And again, I mean, so you have a... You have a Dirty Water Distillery mm-hmm. uh, downtown yep. and Second Wind Brewing. Yep. And, you know, <clears throat> these folks, they don't they don't want to do food. I mean, their craft is right. something different, and they would love to be able to offer something. And I've also heard things like, um, you know, your tourist season, uh, your restaurants get 
overwhelmed. Oh yeah. Um, you know, whatever, May to May to August, September mm-hmm. at, at the very least, and they're like, uh, you know, the restaurants are going. We would like some help with that. You right. Know, you yeah. want Plym- it, it, you want people to come to Plymouth, mm-hmm. but you don't want it to have to be. You know, the family had to wait for two hours to get right because then no one wins. That's right. Because you know, then they're on Yelp, being like, I had to wait for two hours. Yes, blah, Plymouth blah, is blah. great, yeah. except or right. something. So um, so we're you know trying yeah. to change that up a yeah. little bit. You know. Um, Ask for certain times, certain days, have mm-hmm. it be controlled. Yeah, even if it was like on a weekend <clears throat> or something yeah. type of thing. Um, what was your first big event? My first big event feels like the Wayback Machine. I feel like I've lived three lives. So it's only past. been a year and a half. <laughs> I know, but it feels it feels. I feel like, that way about and, December. Right, <laughs> right. My first big event. I'm trying to think. Um, uh, I, I did some fall festivals. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a tough one now. Have you done one where you're like, I'm never missing this ever kind of well, thing? Well, so in or, Weymouth, so um, the old Navy Air Base yeah. is now Union Point, and they do a food truck rodeo. Yep. And they have anywhere from six to 8,000 people. That might have been the one that Jeff Rosen was talking about. Okay. It, might, it was something along those lines. Big. But, yeah. It's big. So there's anywhere from 20 to 30 trucks. And they have a band mm-hmm. and all of that. So that event, I have to say, you know, each truck can only do a certain amount. You, you know, can only carry so much. You yeah. can only carry so much. And, you know, I only have so much griddle space and so forth. So, you know, it's always great to have a line, you know, yeah. we feel. But at that particular event, um, we were so swamped. Our line was an hour long. Oh. And... Um, after about two hours, we had to shut the window down Yeah, because um, we were so overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm like, I can't have people waiting for an hour and a half for a grill. I mean, we were telling them, we have an hour wait. We'll take your order. But And they would still, they were coming and they wouldn't stop. Wow. So, I so think, like they would come up and be like, I want a grilled cheese sandwich. You'd be like, I'm not even going to put I would on the grill for an hour. I would turn around and look out the window and it was, it felt like it was a mile long. That's crazy. You know? So it was, it was great. It was super fun. Um but, you know, some of these events are just, uh, you know, overwhelming. Yeah. You know, you can only, you know, these food trucks are like submarines in a way. You know, the max I can have on is, is four in my truck. Yeah. Um, oh, some I feel the, like that would even be a ton. Oh, and, and even like, that, you're constantly yeah. bumping. Oops, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. <laughs> no, we'll, we make a rule. You can only say that once. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you just bump and move. Then you just bump and move. <laughs> yes. So, you know, all of, our, all of our spaces are limited, but you have to be super efficient. Yeah. With, now, do you always have – I would assume you don't always have four people on it all the time. No. I mean, I typically try to at least, you know, have me plus somebody else. Yeah. So a window person. Mm-hmm. Um, I always need at least two. But, you know, many times three and big festivals four. And then I'll kick somebody out front too. You know, I'll, st- I'll put the register out front with a person so we have more room inside. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so – we were talking about prep work, mm. which I think is the thing that people don't think about when it comes to right. food trucks. Yeah, a lot of, I mean, most food trucks, um, you know, we're we're making our own food. We're mm-hmm. not, you know, I make, you know, tomato bisque and um, chili and a whole bunch of other things. And it's like, it's me. It's yep. me making it. I'm not ordering, you know, uh, vats of tomato a, a soup. can. No, yeah. I'm... Yeah cutting tomatoes i'm roasting them i'm buying them from farmers markets and you know that's what y- you want your truck to be we don't offer a huge menu right. but what we offer we want it to be really good and and that's the difference i think <clears throat> between like the popular food trucks and a roach coach yes you know? i yeah or yeah can't yeah exactly canteen trucks roach yeah. coaches it's it's a different world i mean we're actually like those are just hot dogs and hamburgers right. and you know whatever but right this and is, there's a place for those oh as yeah well. not, I'm, yeah i don't have a problem i've eaten them from <laughs> right you know? it's it's just um it's different yep so do you prep in your home no we're not allowed to okay um so we either have to do it all on the truck or you have to have a commissary mm-hmm. or or a restaurant that you're out of. So for me, <clears throat> it's on the truck right now. I'm, I'm working Oof. hopefully within a month or so I'll be in a brick and mortar, uh, so it'll make it a little easier. But So kind of like a commercial kitchen space that you yeah, can use? Yeah, well, to... I, I'm probably going to be opening a, a mom-on-the-go restaurant. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so it'll solve a lot of problems for right. me. Because, you know, on your truck, you're limited for um, freezer space. And, right. You know, if I could make vats of tomato soup and freeze it, uh, that would be okay, but oh, so I your storage have... <clears throat> is limited to what you have on exactly. Oh, that's pretty tough. So you're constantly 
cooking. Yeah. Um, you know, so if you're working four to five days a week in season, your other two days are prep. Prep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're doing from April to October, you're pretty much doing seven days a week. Nice. Yeah. So um, is it has it been well enough so these months where you're not on the go yeah you you're kind of relaxing and taking some needed time off yes well i wanted to that was my plan i said oh january and february i'll take time off but the association actually has grown yeah so much that there's been a ton to do in that area which is fine yeah which is great you know oh I, uh, so we mentioned the hammer mall but we and we i think we mentioned tuesdays but like yep. give us the actual info so it, it. yeah it's going to be every tuesday from april uh 3rd starting april 3rd to october 30th from 4 to 7 30 p.m mm-hmm. um so we're gonna have a minimum of nine food trucks um every week so you know dessert ice cream savory and it'll kind of rotate through <clears throat> like different ones um or? no we're gonna have the same core but we might um so like dell's will be there dell's uh frozen mm-hmm. lemonade yeah they'll be there from june to, to August, so so the same <clears throat> core, the same core nine, but there'll be other ones added. Exactly, kind of like they'll when they when they can make it. Yes, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I mean, it's and this event is even growing. So the Hanover Mall is trying to get a. Um, I think they just got confirmation today a car show to happen at the same time. Oh, that's nice. And um, the So Shore um, Conservatory out of Hingham just reached out to me and said we'd like to be part of it. So mm-hmm. you know, we already have a live musician, but I'm like, you know, well, it'd be great to have some kid activities yeah, and, yeah, yeah. or you know work with the community in different ways and they're um they're pretty great we've had two um teachers from south shore conservatory yep. on and a band ah so uh yeah they, so you know it seems like the event even itself is it's yeah it's growing kind of growing yeah um what was day one your soft opening outside your husband's <laughs> it business Do you want to plug his business Sure. Shield Computer Care out of Hanover. Out of Hanover? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, was there that one thing that, you know, you opened up for business and someone came up and said, you know, do you have a fork? And you're like, oh, fork. Oh, yeah. What, yeah. what was like the well, one thing? Oh, there's about a hundred of those things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, didn't, I, I didn't think, uh, you know, one of our – we do – lemonade um mm-hmm. and you know i didn't think to have the you know if somebody ordered four or three to oh have, like a little uh, what do you call them? tray tray yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i was like oh, handing out like <laughs> six of them out the window <laughs> good luck oh yeah. yeah oh there's been there's been many many of of those moments where yeah. um you know we still haven't created an inventory sheet <laughs> it's all out of my head oh boy but you know yeah. we've shown up at events and gone oh we don't have yeah, forks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and then uh, we're running off to the store or whatnot. Story I love: a <clears throat> uh, restaurant here in town, um, the New World Tavern across the street. Mm-hmm. Um, Carl, the owner, told us that they open for business, and the first checks were starting to come in, and they're like, "There's no cash in the drawer." Oh, we <laughs> we have forgotten the cash drawer. Uh, at July fourth, uh, you know, typically I keep like. Uh, you know, change, you yeah. know, a, a separate sort of bag of change. Uh, well, there was so much going on, and I think I was so exhausted at that point from working. You know, I'm like, oh, you know, one of the kids said, oh, you know, we're out of quarters. I'm like, yeah, go in the bag and get the quarter. No, there was no change. So we're dumping out tip jars, <laughs> trying to get people money back. And yeah. we've had, I think, every imaginable Every imaginable problem. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the fun parts. Though. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They're not fun at the time. Yeah, we were supposed them- to show up at a 500-person event, and I went out and had my four helpers ready, and my truck wouldn't start. Oof. And we were supposed to be there in a half an hour. Oh, so, man. You know, I'm like, all right, how can I get a uh, tow truck to tow me there? So, you know. <laughs> so do you have AAA? Is that something that even works um, for that? Or? Not, not, not really. No. Um, no, I have a commercial towing company oh, okay. uh, at the ready, but yeah. I mean, only if they're available. Right, right. Uh, luckily, my and husband... And still, I'm guaranteed that's a lot more expensive than gas. Yes, yeah. yes, luckily. But, you know, for me, the worst thing is to promise to be someplace right. and not be able to be there. And so. you don't want to... It lacks. It's one of those. It borders between. Wow, look at their commitment, and that's not very professional. Yes. <laughs> oh, and we've had events where it's um, we're running out of bread. I mean, that's one thing you kind of can't run out of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but we again only have so much space on the truck, and we'll load up. And it's like you go to an event, and it's way bigger, or you're way mm-hmm. more popular than you expected. Yeah. You know. So again, it's a nice think, problem. To have. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But it's like you thank God for husbands. Bring me 25 loaves of bread. <laughs> <You know? laughs> we were uh, running a paint night one night 
and um, someone showed up. We were expecting like maybe eight to ten people, mm-hmm. and someone brought like all their friends. So we had twice as many. And I turned to to fish, and I'm like, "Here's money. Go to Michael's. We need white paint like asap. Like yeah. now. Like yeah. right now. We need. I mean, yeah. you just gotta make it work. Yeah. I'm like, I can do like three steps, and then we're gonna be a lot of trouble. Yes. Yeah. You know, and uh, trucks do are good about helping each other out. Yeah. Um, you know, I was at an event. I was at like a big food truck rodeo in Taunton, and the truck next to me, like their generator died. Mm-hmm. And they were like, "Can we at least plug in to yours?" And right. it's like, "Yeah, you help. You help people right because you know you you want to have that. Kind it might of partner- be me. That yeah, one exactly. Day. <laughs> you want to ha- have that partnership and, mm-hmm. and build. Yeah. Um. So you make grilled cheese sandwiches. Yes. What What kind of unique sandwiches are well, my, on the menu so it, the classic is of course you know everyone loves that but my second best seller is my apple bacon cheddar mm-hmm. uh so that's a that's a big hit um it depends on where you are so if you're at a a, a kid event yeah you're gonna do more of the classics if i'm at a brewery you know i was doing like a buffalo chicken grilled cheese or oh, the pota- ba- yeah good. the baked yeah. potato grilled cheese that you know they just sell out yeah um, I do a pulled pork, pepper jack, coleslaw. Now you must have your mainstays, but do you have like a special one that kind of like yeah, like in the fall, like stuff? I did a um, pumpkin spice. Um, <laughs> uh, well, uh, well, a sweet potato. Oh, okay. Mm, sweet yeah, potato, yeah. balsamic, yeah. Um, vinaigrette, and caramelized onions. You know, so we try to change. You know, I, around in November, I was doing a gobbler, so turkey mm-hmm. stuffing. I make a cranberry compote. So yeah, we try to throw in different seasonal faves. You know. Yeah. Um, so were you back in your insurance life were you like where the cooking interest come from just my whole life family yeah. you know my my dad was italian my mother was polish and irish and you know you were either uh you know feeding people because they were happy sad or mad and you know you right, do, right. that that was the answer emotion, to every, yes <laughs> <laughs> exactly and uh we just my sister's a great cook and yeah. we just uh we love cooking you know and feeding people does your family get tired of grilled cheese sandwiches no i'm so sick of them yeah (laughs) (laughs) at this point but no um it was funny because uh, my mother lives with us and uh i i had we went to uh, mohegan sun i took her for a couple of days and we came back and my teenage boys were like i'm hungry and that's what my mother starts doing making up grilled cheeses i'm like (laughs) (laughs) no more yeah Yeah. (laughs) a little break from the grilled cheeses Um, i think i did twelve thousand grilled cheeses from april to december holy that's that's a lot and i think i made yeah other than maybe a few hundred i made all of them (laughs) yeah um so on an on a regular day yeah for a festival say the festival opens at 10 like what time are you on the move Oh, well, the day before, for yeah. sure, you know, where, but, you know, I'll have my um, helpers come, you know, two hours before, mm-hmm. you know, do a final load up of a few things on the truck. And, you know, we, we need to get to these things at least an hour ahead of time. Do, and at these events with the other trucks, does it seem like the themed specialty trucks have a bigger, more popular? I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, is there any other truck not maybe naming names <laughs> that like I remember the first time I heard of chicken and waffles was from a food truck and I'm yep. like that's the most bizarre thing ever like right. has there been like one truck that you're like that's just crazy not yet on the South Shore yeah uh, you know uh, I mean I think that there's some Boston trucks that mm-hmm. might be you know sort of eclectic and out there and you know hopefully it'll come down here because the food is great but right now you know I think we're fairly straightforward yeah um you know, we have taco trucks and grilled cheese, and um, you know, there's a, a truck out of Hingham, the Rolling Roost. They do some awesome stuff. They'll do, you know, some gourmet sandwiches. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, the Cl- Hank's Clam Shack. They don't serve clams at all. It's like duck poutine, and you know, so yeah, that's weird. Yeah, yeah it's... weird and cool, and yeah. you know, it's good. How many of these places have brick and mortars opposed to um a, a few of them so we have a few um we have like an ice cream truck that has a brick and mortar we have a cupcake uh Sadie Mays out of Hingham that mm-hmm. they have a, a a location uh the Tinker Sun which is an oh, Irish that pub. place yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, their truck is yeah. Hank's Clam Shack Oh really so that oh, is actually okay. the new sort of explosion yeah. on the South Shore is restaurants are now getting food trucks I know Alden Park has one yeah. actually they have like a trailer and a food truck yeah and 
and like Oro and Situate yeah. now has one. So uh, it seems like a lot of restaurants are going, huh? You know, yeah. it, it, you know, they go hand in hand, absolutely. Especially if you have a restaurant, it's kind of. <clears throat> Free advertising. Oh, you know, yeah. You make some, and then people are like, oh, that's good. We should check that restaurant Absolutely. out kind of thing. Yeah. It was funny. I was at an Irish festival with uh, Hank's Clam Shack, and, you know, I show up with my truck and my helpers, and I this was the first time I had done that festival, so I'm like, well, I don't know. I'll make 80 pounds of corned beef. I'm, tr- you know, trying yeah. to estimate best I can. That's the sexiest thing I've heard all day. 80 pounds. <laughs> So, you know, it, it takes me a long time to make 80 pounds of corned oh, beef that, yeah. and slice it and, mm-hmm. and all of that. So uh, I sold out in the first day. Wow. And it was a two-day. And so then what do you do? Like- well, it was a two- <laughs> uh, You don't have corned beef the next yeah. day. So, uh, But Hank's Clam Shack, that, you know, they were great. But I was, like, teasing them. I'm like, you show up with four or five trucks. If you need corned beef, it's like you're calling oh, you call the, the restaurant, restaurant. Yeah. for them Start making more corned beef. Right. You know, I don't have that kind of backup. Yeah. Yeah. So have you ever gotten to the point where you just had to shut the truck down? Not shut down, but I've I've ha- done a few festivals that it's – they've had higher attendance than they had told me. Yeah. And I've sold out of like four of my five sandwiches. Wow. Yeah. So little by little, you're one crossing by one stuff crossing off, yeah. stuff off and the whole line. You hear like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. I've been in those lines where, like, did someone just say they're out of brisket? What? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so are you working on new special sandwich? Is the menu going to be relatively the same this coming season? Are you um, change no, it up? I, I like to change it up. Yeah. I mean, um, so that's what I like to do in January and February. I feel like, you know, I get a little bit of mental break, you know, mm-hmm. from output, and then it allows me to kind of be creative again. So, you know... I tried a lot of different things last summer. I was trying to do some healthier options as sides. Uh, They didn't sell. (laughs) People go, oh, why don't you have healthy stuff? Okay, I will. And then... (laughs) They're like, oh, you have salad? I'll take a grilled cheese. Yes. (laughs) So, um, but, you know, this year I'm thinking about dips. I mean, I love dips. And, you know, my potato grilled cheese has the sour cream Mm -hmm. sort of dip. Or my um, turkey uh, sandwich has the gravy dip. And people love the dip stuff. Yeah. So you can do a lot of fun stuff with dips. dips. I'm thinking about like chipotle aiolis and mm. some other, you know, kind of fun stuff to add on the side. Some, like a taco grilled cheese yep, or something. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> have you done, have you had like an idea where you're like, I'm going to try this and you try it and you're like, that's awful. Well, it's not, I, I always try them out with the family and stuff. Yeah. Um, before it hasn't been awful, but sometimes um, dealing with certain ingredients on a food truck can be difficult. So, like, I really wanted to do an avocado, you know, sandwich, mm-hmm. and I don't want to buy frozen. I wanted to buy fresh, which I did. Yeah, but they're they're, they're difficult to work with. You know, you squeeze a little lime juice on it, but it won't stay. You know, I I don't want to serve green avocado, so. Oh, because they start to go brown? Correct. And, you know, if you cut them as you go, that sounds good, unless you have a line of 50 people. Right. So, you know, there's, I will master that eventually, but, you know, we're thinking maybe we'll change it to a guacamole or something as a spread as opposed to, but I love sliced avocado and I really want them in a sandwich. (laughs) Yeah, I can see where that can be really difficult because if you slice them to order. And there's 100 people in line. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> just, no guarantee that you're going to use a whole avocado all mm-hmm. the way through and then it's going to turn brown. Mm-hmm. So you have that same issue. Yeah. And so, you know, you, it's like, oh, you put it in a container with an onion, you know, whatever. It becomes very complicated. Um, so if you have a brick and mortar place, mm-hmm. you go through, you deal with the town and, and the board of health. Yep. How do you handle that when you're mobile? The board of health... Uh, as a, a mobile vendor, date type thing or? well, it's so in. That's a, a, also one of our goals of the association is to streamline the mobile vending mm-hmm. um, state regulations. So you should always feel comfortable eating off a food truck in Massachusetts because we are inspected uh, so many more times yeah. than a brick and mortar. So each town um, is you know supposed to inspect their restaurants a minimum of three times a mm-hmm. year. I was inspected. Um, like 35 times from March to May alone. 35 times? Yes, because um, if I get a permit in a particular town, yeah, they want to inspect me. So I have 15 annual permits in 15 towns. 
So basically, every time you go to a different town, you're going to have to get inspected. Again. Yes, which is fine. Yeah, you know, but it's it, just time consuming. It, well, it's yeah. a part time job. It becomes a part time job for mm-hmm. me. You know, yeah. they go, oh, I'll, I'll see you. You know, Thursday at noon. I'm like, I'm at a. You know, that's yeah. what I'm working. I'm already. Yeah, I'm somewhere. <laughs> they're very good, and, yeah. and they're trying. You know, obviously trying to do their job. But a lot of other, uh, not a lot, but a few other states um, have streamlined the process that. You basically, you get inspected in your hometown. They mm-hmm. have to do their minimum of three inspections. Right. And other, it should be reciprocity. Other towns should accept, accept your home base right, yeah, yeah. Um, inspections. But right now, that's not how it is. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, I could, That's got to be brutal. It's that's be a incredibly lot of work. Yeah. expensive. I mean, we spend thousands of dollars a year on permitting mm-hmm. um, and the time. It's the, So one of the things the South Shore um, Food Truck Association we're doing is we're trying to create a group or mass inspection yeah uh so we just uh, i just sent the email out almost like a food park festival inspection, inspection. <laughs> so yeah so everyone like gets together early and... march there are 20 trucks yeah. at this location and i'm inviting all the different social boards of health yeah um because you know it's a hassle for them too oh sure yeah i mean they gotta take the time oh and, i'm all yeah. of a sudden calling plimpton which i don't say normally work in going I need a permit by next week. And they have to fit me in to inspect me. So right. it is, so it's difficult for them as well. So it's like, you know, let's do a mass inspection so people can get their annual permits mm-hmm. and their inspections done sort of before the season hits. Right, right, right. And, you know, inspect away, yeah. you know, as needed. But um, And you just sit on the on the truck with your checkbook because <laughs> I'm sure they all want yeah, oh, yes. 15 bucks here, 20 bucks there or whatever. Oh, 100, 100 200, yeah, okay. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That's... So that's, you know... Ultimately, you know, like in California, they do it by county, you know, which is yeah. very big. They'll say if you... And that would even be better. Yes, <laughs> it would be. Utah just did a statewide one, you yeah. know. So, I mean, for us, we have to have a state hawkers and peddlers license. We have to have the town permit. We have to have the fire department permit. Um you know, all of it. They want to see our insurance. They want our, you know, serve safe. And, and like I said, the regulations are all good. Yeah. But the repetitive nature of it. Um, feels excessive. How many forms do you think you fill oh, out? Oh, I can, again, <laughs> part time job. Yeah. You know, it's like you got to go in your office in the morning and get all your permitting stuff done. And yeah. That's pretty brutal. Yeah. Is there like one part of the state that's more of a stickler and more more difficult to work in? Well, I would say from town to town it varies. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some. Some uh, towns, um, you know, Plymouth, you know, for example, like I'm, I send them all my Hanover stuff. And mm-hmm. if I want a one day permit for yep. Memorial Hall, they're good about it. Um, other towns, which I won't name, uh, they go, you know, we don't care. We want to do our own yeah. thing. And um, it seems to me there should be some reciprocity, you know. Yeah, it's just, it seems like it's got to tie up every everybody. everyone yeah. everyone and yeah. it's like we're still happy to write the checks but you know right. so that the town gets the mm-hmm. the revenue they need but you know it's becoming you know at, at first some of the towns that i was going to a year and a half ago or two years ago they were like what are you you know <laughs> you're not an ice you're an ice cream truck i'm like no, no i'm not an ice cream truck they're like oh you're like a roach coach i'm like no yeah. i'm not that because they don't cook on their on their right, vehicles. Right, right. that's the yeah. the canteen trucks i should say don't cook on there yeah um so it's like no i'm an actual mobile vendor with a kitchen i'm a mobile kitchen they don't even have a check mark on their form for that. So have you have you ever had to go to like one of those town meetings where they try and figure out what to do with you? Yes, I have. Um, because there are towns that say, "All right, well, well, you need to let us know where you're going to be on what days." And I'm like, "It doesn't work like right. that." Right, it's mobile for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I'm if I'm parked somewhere and it's no good, I want to go somewhere. That's else. a location. That's right, called yeah. a location. Yeah. You know, we don't have locations right. where you know people call us and say. You know, oh, we're having a Polar Express event for 500 people, and that's where we go. Yeah. You know? um, I remember I had a, a business in East Bridgewater, and it was a collectible store. It sold comics and collectibles yeah. and whatnot. And because on the form I wrote collectibles or, or something like that, they're like, well, you need a junk license. And I'm like, I need a what now? Huh? And they're like, well, you're selling secondhand items. Yeah. And so that became like a whole other process. Right. And, right. you know, got to go in front of the 
Board of Selectmen. Yeah. And, and yeah. So ten, about yeah. 10 years ago, Boston streamlined that process. Yeah. So, you know, you go through Boston Fire, Boston Board of Health, and, you, and then you can do Boston Proper mm-hmm. as well as. So they fixed oh, it. Oh, okay. Um, the, you know, for those trucks that work in there. You yeah. Know, you go through the process. But, the you know, our, it's it's new. It's new to our social towns, and we're trying to make yeah, some changes yeah, it, happen. It takes time. It does. And hopefully um, they'll get on board because it yeah. seems like it's very popular and yep um where so you said you do like private events mm-hmm. and parties and whatnot yep. um so is that generally like uh someone will will pay to have you at the event and yeah so you know so, graduation so basically time. like mm-hmm. an open cheese uh, grilled cheese bar and that kind of thing? Like- <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you know, I did it, like uh, like I said, a few graduations, you know, in May and June. And, you know, they don't want to they don't want to cook. So I also have, like, platters on my menu that I'll do. Okay. So I'll show up. I'll give them the platters, you know, a crudite or, you know, a spinach dip. And um, then all their guests, you know, can just come up to the truck and order. So it's like, you know, you pay me for feeding 100 people and they come up and order. We're not taking money from the guests. Right, right. And, and um, people love it yeah you know they just think it's the most fun thing you know to be able to come up and do that if someone wanted to book you for a function or something like that mm-hmm. i'm assuming you have a website or some social yeah, media type yep, stuff yeah we have a website mom on the go uh food truck uh, dot com and then uh you know our social media yeah yeah uh facebook, facebook twitter, twitter instagram instagram yeah um now i've seen like on the uh the um was it the great food truck race? Is yes. that what it's called? Yes. Where they'll tweet their <clears throat> location and people just yeah. kind of gravitate. To, like, do you, have you experienced that? Is that like well, a South Shore <clears throat> type thing? So I found, <laughs> I've done all three, um, and I found that Facebook works the best for me. Yeah. And I would absolutely, so if I say, oh, I'm going to be at the Citroën Farmer's Market, um, you know, I'll end up doing, because there's been times where I'm busy and I forgot to post where I'm going to be. Yeah, sure. Or whatever. I do double the amount of money. Oh really? Yeah. That's so that double the amount of sales, I should yeah. say. So I um I make make a real point of making sure to mm-hmm. let n- let people know. Now, if you happen to have, it doesn't sound like it really happens much, but say you have an odd Wednesday, yeah, where <clears throat> you don't have something, yeah. scheduled. Yep, it happens. Do occasionally. you just? Go, I, go to a beach and park near a beach? Or? No, you no, can't do that. No. But um, no, but like I'm, you know, my home base is Hanover. So I, you know, I've lived there for 27 years. So I'll just call up one of my business friends and go, hey, can I come park? And they're like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so, so you kind of have. Yeah. Like, so I'm, yeah. you know, permitted in Hanover. Um, so we can park at anybody that gives us permission. Right. Um, I can't just pull up on the side of 53 and in Hanover start, and, yeah. and start selling, but I, I can go to a business location yeah. and, you know, I just have a network of people that I can go, nice. ah, you know. Yeah, because a lot of Home Depots have, like, a a person that yes. has some sort of deal or something right, to right, right. vend in their parking lot. Um, but some of the um, trucks in our group have a regular location. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, they'll do, you know, Tuesday to Friday in a particular industrial park. Mm-hmm. For lunches, and then they'll do festivals on the weekends. Oh, know? okay. So, so they have like a steady a thing, and then different. they kind of go somewhere yeah. else. Um, so what is the number one concern of the, the Food Truck Association? Like, what, what do they want to see changed? Um, well, we want to promote. So I feel like there are people telling me all the time, I didn't know you existed, you yeah. know. Um, so we want to promote that uh, all of us together that mm-hmm. we're around and you know I just um, kind of made the Facebook page the other day and or like well I made it like a month ago but I just started promoting it last week and like all of a sudden we have 800 likes which is nice in a week and um, I'm getting requests left and right we need four food trucks for a thing you know oh really oh yeah so uh, we, we'd like eight food trucks we'd like so the, you know I think people really didn't know where to go before yeah. so now it's giving them kind of a central hub yes to- so our website will be up uh, at the um, beginning of February, when this is out. Nice. Um, yeah, so socialfoodtruckassociation.com. And uh, we'll be able to, you know, get leads through there and disperse them or do group things. Nice. Yeah. Um, you know, so that's kind of sharing leads. Yeah. 
uh, we do education. So, you know, we've had guest speakers, how to winterize your truck, how to insure your truck. We've had, um, you know, food suppliers come in, and uh, we've had Board of Health people come in. So we try to make our meetings educational. Do you ever have, like, the... Um the dramatic person like, <laughs> coming in, like kind of try to hawk there not, yeah. not, yet, not yet not yet i mean we try to keep it you know relevant and yeah. not salesy but more like as an educational just educational yeah. type and uh you know so we're trying to keep the the meeting sort of interesting um you know not getting together and just you know sort of complaining or something right right right, right. Yeah. <laughs> kind of having a focus um, um so if someone wanted to start a food truck yeah what would be your opening advice to them it's gonna cost you twice as much as you think (laughs) to open it and it's twice as hard as you think yeah and you know um you know it certainly can be done but it's definitely not not easy um i thought you know well you know i'm a pretty smart person and i've researched this and i've read every book and there aren't a lot of them no out there 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 are not Uh, I've looked at, you know, blogs and YouTube, and again, the information is fairly limited. You can find anything you want, um, and historical data and numbers on restaurants, right? but not on food trucks. Um, so, but I mean, I, d- I did as much as I could do, and I'm, I still feel like I'm learning every day. Yeah. Did you feel like the your expectation of the market was more or less, like... I didn't know how it was going to be received. Yeah. I was I was worried that I would have to be looking for um, gigs to do or locations or festivals, and I have to say that's the one thing is I was swamped right away. Yeah, with requests. Which is, I mean, that's it's nice to be in a, a position where the demand is yes. better than the supply. Yes. Well, you immediately start having a minimum. <laughs> so, you yeah. know, um, you know, a lot of our trucks have like a $500 minimum or some have 750 or a thousand in Boston. A lot of them have a $1,500 minimum. You want to talk to me? You want me to show up? It's $1,500. $1, yeah. Yes. Um, you know, I think I didn't have a minimum for about three weeks. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, how could I possibly have a minimum? Right. But I'll go anywhere you need exactly. me. And then you start to get like, uh, this other guy. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, you know, and yeah, of course, you know, people don't know the food truck industry. I mean, occasionally I'll have requests to go, oh, you know, we have like four or five people, you know, at this lunch thing. Could you come make us some grilled cheeses? And yeah. it's like. You know, it's not really like that. We're yeah. not really like an ice cream truck. It right, takes right. time it's to just, set up, and because then you got to like you got to bust out the generator and yes. get going, and yeah, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't play music as you drive down the <laughs> no, street. No, it's little not. Little kids chase behind uh, you on no, the bike. A little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So you said that Dell's will be at the thing Dell's Hanover. will be there um, June um, to yeah. So who are the nine? Uh, guess, who, are the, who, are the nine? who are the nine? So me, Mom on the Go, and then we have the Social Taco Guy. Uh, we have Los Jefes. Uh, they're another. They do fabulous taco creations. Shinetti's Grill. They're out of um, Marshfield. They do awesome like turkey chili hot dogs. Um, oh, you're going to make me miss someone. Sadie Mae's Cupcakes. We have Little Duke's uh, Ice Cream. I'm missing, like. <laughs> uh, there's, there's nine of us, ten with Dell's. So, yeah. um, but it's all on the... I so- didn't mean to put you on the spot. No, that's okay. <laughs> so sure food truck I didn't mean to, but it was a little fun. <laughs> I know, I know, right? Um, now, Hanover Mall, I think in the past had like a drive-in uh movie night is that going to be kind of part of this too no or is that i, I totally asked some and and you know the the hanover mall is you know they're having big changes they're going to do a redevelopment yeah. in about a year and a half mm-hmm. um so you know they're trying to let people know that they're still still there still there yeah. still open and there are still you know stores in there you know there's old navy there's sears all of that so you know um they're doing jc penny you know moved out and they're doing different events they did like a comic con yep yep i'm a, aware of that yeah. yep and yeah. like a train show and so they're really open to kind of trying to you know be part of the community and bring people in and uh, i see that as kind of a growing trend in malls i mean malls are suffering yes you know retail wise yes. and and uh um it's the world it, of amazon it, it, yeah it used to be the kingston mall <clears throat> and it's now called the kingston collection I was drawing a blank on it mm-hmm. but um th- there's been a huge shift over the past like two maybe three years where it is no longer retail driven yeah but um kind of activity driven yes where the stores are more to do something than to buy something yes um 
So it just seems like natural that like a food truck event and something like that is. is yeah, I'm mean, going when I had reached out to them. You know, I was kind of worried because again, I mean, this food truck Tuesday concept, mm-hmm. you know, happens in you know down south and in California. And right. It happens everywhere else. It, it doesn't happen a lot here. So I was kind of worried that they'd be like, what? Um, but no, the the woman that I, I spoke to at the mall, she was like, oh, I was down south. And I was like, why don't we do this? And yeah. I'm so glad you reached out. And um, so they're really looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to have to try and get over there some yeah. Tuesday night. And, yep. and what were the hours of it again? I'm four, asking for myself now. 4 like, to 7.30. 4 to 7.30. Yeah, right? Tuesday nights. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, now, do you take part on, like, these farmer markets and, and stuff like um, that? I go to the – so I grew up in Situate, so yeah. I kind of have roots there. And a friend of mine runs the Situate Farmer's Market, so I go, so to, go to that, to that one. one. Yeah. Um, but, you know, there's a farmer's market every every day of the week. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah at, at this point. Yeah. And um, I've, I've heard the Plymouth one is fabulous. Yeah, we've been asked to record there several times, but it's weird hours. Oh. Like um, – Is it 2 to 6 or something, something like, like that? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. And, like, you know, when you work – Eight thirty to five. Right. That's pretty tough to get to. Right. So it's right. um, it's definitely something we're gonna do this because I know it, right now it's on it's winter, so they run like once a month or something like yeah. that. Um, but like once it kicks off, I'm sure we'll get down there and, and record. Yeah. So it'll be fun. Manja food truck. That's another one that's gonna Manja be on. Food tra- <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to remember all nine. I didn't mean to put you on the spot away like cafe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and and. Like you said, you kind of share um, or help each other out. Is it yeah. very like open kind of uh, friendly vibe, or is it? Well, by, I is think, it track by track? Well, I have to say, I mean, I think when I first started going around to trucks, going, I want to start an association. They were like, "Why? <laughs> you know, yeah. what do you want? What do you want? Yeah. How much is it going to cost?" Yeah, me? you know, I was getting a little bit of a hmm. Yeah. Um, but I, I feel like at this point, um, you know, people really get it that it's like, no, we're, we're here to support each other. Yeah. You know, a rising tide raises all ships. And yeah, that's totally my belief. Sees it that way, but, I mean, there's, yeah. there's a, you know, always going to be, I'm like, yeah, we're competitors. Yeah. Um, but we can also help each other out. It's right. like I had such an overflow of leads. You know, when people were saying, you know, can you come? And I'm like, no. Mm-hmm. The answer was just no. Um, but now I can go, hey, we have an association. I can shoot it out to them. Right. And it's What like, kind of truck are you interested in? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I'll send an email out to the group, and it's like people have gotten business, you know, from that, and we're helping the people that want a truck. So it's it's a good it's a good match. I think people are happy about it now. So how do you go about converting a FedEx truck into a kitchen? <laughs> it's painful. Like, I just kind of assumed <laughs> that there was, like, food tr- – like – yeah, a food truck factory. Or yeah, something. well, there's you not many. Um, there's a plenty of, you know, uh, food truck builders, and what they do is buy trucks and convert them. Yeah. Um, you know, you take part from the RV world, part from the truck world, part from the restaurant world, and and make it into a thing. So, did you build your own? Like, no, okay. I bought mine up in New Hampshire. Um, the the man that I bought it from basically installed the kitchen. But, you know, even after all my research, I I came down to Massachusetts and found out that, no, not all the stuff that he had done to the truck was to Massachusetts code. Oh. We have different codes. Right. So I had to put about another $5,000 in to Uh, make it. um, And then you're probably not only just talking about, like, Board of Health, but you're probably talking about DMV. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, up in New Hampshire, you know, when I initially bought the truck, there were two, um, you know, 100-pound propane tanks on the back of the truck. Mm -hmm. Well, when I got down to Hanover, you know, the fire department was like, no, unless you cage them all in, you know, box them all in. Yeah. You know, if somebody hits you, you know, you're a... You're a bomb. You're an atom bomb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we want them either caged in or underneath. So, you know, and again, it's just different different regulations. Yeah. So I ended up doing my truck. I found somebody in Woburn that does food truck builds. And, um, you know, he did it to Boston standards. Right. Even though I don't really want to go to Boston. But they're the right. sort of highest standards. If they have the standards. highest standards, you build to so there. So I'm like, yeah. you know, build to that, and mm-hmm. then we should be good everywhere else. So do you have to have a special driver's license? No. Or, no. Scary enough, isn't yeah. that? <laughs> but is there, like, a different, like, inspection? Like, 
Well, I mean, you're in, you have to go to a, um, you know, where they inspect RVs or trucks, commercial yeah. vehicles. Okay. Um, so, but, you know, they do nothing with the kitchen. So they just make sure that y- your admissions and all that so stuff. So there's no yep. additional Much requirements. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just standard sort of commercial vehicle inspection. And then your kitchen is inspected by the Board of Health. Yeah. But then you have the fire department that inspects your propane, your Ansel system. Your, yeah. You know. But you knew all this going in. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> well, it's funny when I when I called the you know town of Hanover and I said, you know, well, what are the requirements for a food truck? You know, for the fire department, they went, yeah, we don't know. We'll we'll find out though, and we'll get back to you. Yeah. You know, they had to call yeah. Quincy or you know, and it, and it, it is all those little things that add up. And like I, I mentioned, I I had a business, and so I got my my business permit, and they're like, oh well, do you have a signed permit? I'm like, a what? They're like, well, you need a permit to have a sign out in front of your business and i'm like how does that make <laughs> right. sense and yeah. like it's 15 dollars. oh i was I'm driving like, around for about a month and a half with i mean i had my logo on there and um one of the inspections went well you don't have your like phone number on the door i'm like well you know yeah i don't really care to have my phone number on the door i'm a i'm a food vendor yeah. like i'm a mobile they were like no oh it's a regulation i'm like oh oh all right <laughs> i'll do it then you yeah. know i didn't know yeah so yeah. it's it's just funny when you when, like you said, you call them and they're like, we don't know, yeah. but we'll, we'll get back we'll to get you. We'll get back to you. I'm like, can you hurry? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, we heard that from a lot of restaurant owners that there's like the the second you have propane on, you, you open. You know, yeah. that, that you it's always kind of a rush to get open before your funds run out. Was there that same kind of rush? Oh, God, that yeah. You were like, yeah. I mean, like I said, I thought the purchase of the truck – you know, and then I was going to start buying, you know, my small wares. And, but, you know, in between there, there was another $5,000 right, that I right, hadn't yeah. planned on. Yeah. And um, I was like, oh, my God, this needs to get open very quickly, you know. So so th- looking back, would you have just gone straight to a, a brick and mortar? No. No. No, it's I love that. I love definitely the, about the food truck. Yeah. You know, there's, there's an excitement of when you pull up. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean – you know, literally people are taking pictures of of your truck and they're so excited, yeah. you know, to see you all the time. Yeah. And, <laughs> and the cool thing is, like, people love to go to, like, festivals and things yes. and you're always going to them. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, people are just – it's – that's a very happy business, yeah. Uh, you know, to show up and have people be like, "Oh my God, you're here! Thank you, you're welcome." <laughs> you, you know, you must have some horror story from a customer. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, you know, you can't make everybody. No, happy. you can't. But we're pretty lucky. I mean, yeah. we try. You know, I think occasionally, you know, if we're overwhelmed, the wait gets a little longer than anticipated, and you yeah. feel badly about yeah. that. And um, that's really tough. Like, I can understand the frustration. Because there's nothing you can do. You no. can only cook so fast. Yeah, yes. And if you have little kids, yes, you know, they get a little cranky. And you know, and I always say to you know uh, the the window people, like you know, give people an estimate on time. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you know, if they're sitting out front and I'm 20 minutes behind, they haven't got the word, and they're telling right. people 10 minutes, and it's 30, and it's yeah. yeah, it's like that's not great. But we you know we try to apologize yeah. or give them something extra. But you know, occasionally people get, they get hangry is what it is. Right, yeah. You know, they're yeah. starving. We've and- all been there. <laughs> If I had said 30 minutes, you would have been okay. I, I get undecisive mm-hmm. when I get hungry. Yes. It's like, the, what do you want? I don't know. Just give me food. <laughs> I don't care. Yes. Um, is there a Yelp for food trucks? Is there you know, like some I, sort of online? And I, a no. A lot of my I mean, restaurant I, friends hate online ratings. But. Right. I mean, you yeah. know, my Facebook has like 40, you know, ratings. Yeah. Luckily, people are happy and, yeah. and all of that. I'm, I, You know, I'm like, someday there's going to be somebody that's unhappy, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. And it hasn't happened yet, and I'm so glad. But, um, you know. It, it'll probably happen <laughs> Where someone leaves a review about a bad grilled cheese, and when you read the review, you're like, I wasn't even at that yeah. festival. Well, it's funny. I had a, I had a terrible uh, situation where uh, somebody had written to me saying that, you know, my truck is not peanut-free. And, um, we, you know, we have that posted. Right, and we right. tell people or if anybody says, oh, well, I'm just going to get the grilled cheese and I'm okay with the bread or yeah. my kid's okay. I'm like, no, I'm like, we only have one griddle. We are not peanut safe in right. any way. Uh, there could be cross-contamination. We sure. use pesto. We use yeah. other stuff. So we regularly tell people that. But anyway, so, you know, we got 
an email, you know, saying, you know, my friend ordered from your truck and they ended up, you know, getting um, their daughter ended up going to the hospital with like an anaphylactic problem. Yeah. And you told them it was safe. It's like, never, never yeah. did we ever say right, right. we're peanut okay. You know, it's yeah. like we post it, we tell people and it's like turned out it was another truck right. that they ate off of. It wasn't yeah. even our truck. Um, and, and they just see food truck. They see the, yeah. the event. They're like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, no, all my staff is trained. Allergies is such a big deal. Oh, yeah. And it's, you know, you don't mess around with it. Do you have a gluten-free grilled cheese? But sounds horrible. Well, I so when I do some corporate private events, yeah. um, from time to time they'll say we, you know, we, and I said I will bring gluten-free bread, but it's I have to say you know it can be gluten sensitive. We're not gluten-free because again you only have Cross, one, right, one yeah. griddle. It's all gonna be cooked on the same. You thing. know, yeah. so I will um, bring gluten-free bread if asked to a specific thing, and it makes a terrible grilled cheese, but they Ugh. are very happy with it. <laughs> You know, it my could. my my, uh, my girlfriend is very 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 health conscious yep. about what she eats. Yep, and she has it's beyond whole grain. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. Oh, it's tough. I and, mean, and we made grilled cheeses out of it one time. It was god awful. It's tough because it's veg you know vegetable based. Yeah, and it's. Um, you know, we do it if, if, you know, if it's a private party. Or some people will come up and say, you know, just give me the pulled pork in a cup. And I'm like, oh, we'll do that. Uh, first of all, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, um, again, I, you know, my soup, I initially it wasn't, uh, my tomato soup wasn't vegetarian. I was using chicken broth, but we've switched to make it a, a vegetarian. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't add flour, but I can't say it's not, um, you know, purely gluten-free. Right, yeah. So again, I've tried to offer some gluten-free sides, and you know. they're just not that popular. No, yeah. <laughs> and that's the tough thing is when you have a truck, you can't be like, "Oh, well, we're gonna keep." It's no, that's My taking up space is, of something that yeah, can sell. Yeah, exactly. It's so limited. Yeah. I don't do anything fried. I don't do French fries or anything like that. But um, you know, try to keep it. So you're at a festival. Mm-hmm. You served thousands of people. Yeah, however many you, you yeah. sell. Um, you come home, you're tired, what do you make for dinner? Nothing. So, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely nothing. Yeah. So my husband and kids went from me, you know, cooking all the time, because yeah. I love to cook, to, you know, the food truck season. I'm like, you are so on your own. So we tried to do, like, uh, plated or uh, blue apron, because, mm-hmm. you know, I'm like, you guys are going to have to cook. Right. And, you know, the, that lasted not very long, and now they're ordering pizza over there. <laughs> but, no, I, I come home. You know, a lot of times I'm not coming home till 10 o'clock at night. Right. And, you know, I still have to clean the truck at the end of the day mm-hmm. and all of that, and I'm collapsing and yeah. getting up and doing it again the next day. So they're very supportive, though. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so, again, why don't you give uh, your website and social media so people can find um, you? Yep. So, mom on the go food truck, uh, dot com, And then um, Facebook is what I keep seem to keep most updated. Mom on the go food truck. All over the place. Yeah. Nice. And um, Tuesday nights, 4 to 7. 7.30 at, at the, the Hanover, Hanover Mall. Mall. Yep. Right and That out. starts in April, you said? April, yeah. yeah. April to October. And, um, yeah. And, and name the, all nine trucks right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> so then, you know, the South Shore Food Truck Association, um, we have a Facebook page and we're about to have a website. Nice. And people can kind of keep track of, you know, what's going on with the big group. So if someone needs a food truck, yep, reach they out. can call you first or they can go there once, Absolutely. once they realize you're busy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for uh, joining us. and uh, Thanks for chatting. having me. Yeah. This was fun. Not yeah. so bad. No, it's... it's <laughs> I'm not scary. I tried to be. It doesn't work. So. But uh, thanks again. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Uh, don't forget to check out our other podcast. Uh, there's the Bar Talk podcast. There's Old Colony cast. And, of course, the Inebriar podcast along with Jam Packed. Um, you can find all those on Stitcher, iTunes, SoundCloud, YouTube, pretty much anywhere podcasts are found. Um, if you're on some sort of service and you can't find it, let us know and we'll help you out and or add our podcast to that too. Um, you can contact us at inebriart at yahoo.com and follow us on Facebook as well as Twitter at inebriart and feel free to send us some tips, ideas, advice, hate mail, whatever it is, you can get us there. And again, thanks for listening.